Happening today, it's not something you expect to see on Miami Beach. Bulldozers, front end loaders, and dump trucks. But today, the heavy machinery will be removing seaweed that's been taking over our beaches. CBS 4's Riel Creighton is live on Miami Beach with the latest. Riel. Well, seaweed on the beach is nothing new, but there are literally mounds and mounds of this stuff. You talk to residents, they will tell you not only is this unsightly, but this stuff, it also really stinks too. The good news is, as of today, the county is stepping in to help handle it. We saw two drones over there. Between the two of them combined, they have been living on Miami Beach for more than 60 years. It's coming worse every time. They say it has never been like this before. You can see it all brown. Nothing is, you, you are afraid that you, you have some kind of disease. A blight on the beaches that stretches for miles. From above, it is everywhere. I expected white sands, blue sea, and that's what I expected, and not seaweed and garbage. Tourism boosters call it a crisis. With the tide deposits daily, the technical term is sargassum seaweed. Scientists say coming ashore at unprecedented levels because of climate change. Warmer water spurring growth. This is kind of a new normal. Officials announcing the beginning of a new cleanup effort under emergency procurement to pick the beach at hot spots for the mess between the 26th to 32nd breakwaters while they wait for permit extensions from Florida Fish and Wildlife. Under the law, the county must obtain a weekly permit to clean the beaches to make certain impact to marine life like sea turtles is minimal. They hadn't been approved in over a week. In the meantime, they say this has been piling up. We've always had seaweed. I used to play in it when I was a kid, but not to this magnitude and not to this environmental mess. In the short term, we have an emergency plan. You've heard about it. In the long term, we have to look at the environmental causes. And you could take a look and see just how far this goes. And this is after today's cleanup. What city officials are hoping to get is a seasonal permit from FWC so that they don't have to go through this every other week in order to clean this up. Meantime, they say success will be keeping the beaches open and beautiful, but it also means to some extent living with it because it is a natural occurrence. Live at Miami Beach, Riel Creighton, CBS 4 News.